Welcome to She Codes. In our episode number 16, we are meeting Miss Isha, a senior software engineer with a great track record in working as a business analyst. She has an extensive machine learning experience and quite a great list of technical certifications too. She's a brilliant problem solver. Developing machine learning algorithms using NLP, deep learning technologies is her forte. Over 10 years of her professional journey, her colleagues talk about how confidently she has managed technical projects as well as her work. So let's hear her story on She Codes. Thank you, Isha, for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on She Codes. Yeah, same here, same here. So, uh, Isha, tell us about yourself, uh, your experience, your profession. Personal journey since the beginning, as well as your hobbies. You know, uh, we would really like to understand that. Okay, so uh, thanks, thanks, Swati. Uh, so basically, I started my career around ten years back, and uh, it was uh, during the recession time, two thousand nine. So I started my journey as a software engineer, assistant software engineer in TCS. and after uh, i mean after a good 5 years of working in tcs and uh, doing various roles like uh, you know software engineer and then moving to business analyst and then leaving the company as a business analyst and joining in iotap uh, there in i was a business analyst and a product owner and then i joined the uh, Uh, the here technologies after one year after i had my baby i uh, i thought the startup culture would be a bit uh, harsh on me and my baby so i just joined here technologies and in here technology basically i uh, i joined as a product owner and so as a product owner i joined in here and then here gave me an opportunity to become an agile coach then i became an agile coach i uh, earned a certificate of uh, scrum certified product owner and then i earned a certificate of scrum master after giving an examination and after that uh, after agile i so basically my journey was not uh, only just a technical course or uh, a functional one it was mix of both of it and then now i have moved to a senior software engineer role wherein i am a python developer and in here i am developing the python sdk for uh, here uh, basically location services so uh, that is what how we am doing and uh, i'm building a python sdk uh so uh, yeah i am a full time developer now so i have basically moved from a non function non technical role to uh, technical stuff so uh, that is quite a moment and uh, basically my hobby is something uh, uh, i i love uh, reading stuff and uh, i love doing uh, i mean love coding i i started uh, basically i started uh, looking into stock markets and one of the hobbies that which i have is trading so uh, i am uh, you can say i am a like 50% full time trader as well so that is also my hobby so i i study about the fundamental stuff of the companies the ebitda the uh, the basic financial uh, summaries of the company so all those things i do so that is also one of the things which i do apart from just my 9 to 5 job or 9 to 6 job so yeah and plus you have a baby to manage um <laughs> it's, it's really hectic i guess right <laughs> Yeah, actually, I I I think it's uh, like four or five full time jobs I'm doing it right now <laughs> in the time of lockdown when you are don't have any mates or something. But yeah, so that is what I'm doing right now. I can totally relate to it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Isha. So what are some of your skills that you're proud of, uh, and how did you develop them? Th- those skills over the time. Yeah, so the skills which I have uh, is something which uh, I can learn. Actually, uh, I love learning. So I learned uh, uh, the machine learning stuff when I was an agile coach. I uh, got into machine learning projects, my personal machine learning projects, when I was, uh, you know, product owner or was doing some business analysis stuff. So uh, that time and my uh, database. So I love data. uh it it can be like anything what i've told you like uh the trading stuff which i do it is also all about data and how you can relate the data 
and right. similarly in machine learning also they are all about data so i love data i love playing with data i can uh, i am also basically uh, a full uh, i mean i'm i'm developing a skill to you know about the big data so i i i keep on learning stuff so uh, my basically strongest point if you say is uh, analyzing data. so yeah uh, i completely understand data is present and it's going to be future the entire industry across industries are working upon big data so apart from big data uh, what are the future technologies and innovation you are excited about and uh, what are you doing or planning to do on those lines uh so basically i think uh, the uh, I- iot and the sensors uh, will be our next uh you know next thing next big thing which will come up and they are very much unexplored uh zones of machine learning right now like when we had uh, only the uh, supervised learning we always got excited about unsupervised that uh, then when we had uh, the supervised and unsupervised that then there was something new which was coming up that is deep learning and deep learning is so what i think uh, the deep learning would be uh, our next future technology which will come up so i think uh, machine learning is here and is here to stay for much much longer time now completely agree on that so a very important question for shikots now is how has been your journey as a women engineer and what would be your advices for the female engineers out there in order to take up the tech career or in order to uh, you know get back to the work um, after probably a maternity break uh, so what do you think about those uh so basically um uh you have to abide by four points which i feel uh everybody every woman at work going after maternity should do do not feel guilty about leaving your child because your child will be just okay just fine and uh he or she will love you uh, the way he or she loves you right now and there will be no change at all so the first thing which comes after maternity leave uh, uh, to uh, i mean after going to office for uh, like this much hours and then you always thinking about baby don't do that they they will love you don't think about that they will forget you or something they will love you you will always be their mother second and foremost create your own if you want to live like a queen you have to create your army you can't do it alone ask for help ask for uh, ask for the right help right people uh, coming in like i i asked my parents and my in-laws to come and stay with us uh, to uh, help me with my baby and so that i could i could concentrate you can leave your baby to a good day care and something like that so you have to create your army to rule this world as a queen so this is the first and foremost thing uh even uh, uh you can't do it all alone because what women try to do is they try to manage each and everything all alone that i can do it i i can be perfect on it i guess you can be perfect but then you have to decide on which grounds you want to be perfect on so uh create your army first second don't don't uh, so if you are in a technical background or in a functional background just just make sure you don't leave your expertise behind so if you are expert like i did it was a big mistake so what i did was uh, to become a business analyst because it was a very hard job that time but if you will see uh, the technology right now uh, where the it companies are to going they're more concentrating on the uh, technical things uh, right now and the developers are much more in demand than the functional role so don't leave your expertise if you are expert in testing just make sure that you don't leave your uh, expertise for a hot job right now which might not be valid tomorrow so uh, just don't do that manage your expertise well don't leave your expertise uh, and keep keep up keep updating yourself because that is the most important thing thirdly uh, i think uh, as a woman uh, we don't find women asking for help 
with that much. We always see uh, men helping other people. Uh, and women, it's not that, that men don't want to help women. They want to, but then you have to come and ask for help that, okay, this, I, I'm not able to crack this code. Can you please help me in cracking that? Like if you're stuck in some SDK part and you don't know how to deploy it, don't hesitate, don't sit on it for like for hours. Just, just uh, ask somebody to help you. They will guide you well. And believe me, uh, 99.99% people want to help you. And uh, so I think don't hesitate to seek help. It would be my third point. And for this, create or build your mentors. Like in my company, my uh, previous manager was my mentor. My uh, the data scientist who was just in the other cubicle he, he doesn't belong to my team but he became my mentor i i used to ask him the things about data science and when i was so new to data science and he he really helped me he he used to teach me mathematics and uh, so this is the other thing which i wanted to say build your mentorship uh, bonds it will really help you and fifth is, if you want to, this might be specific to people who are uh, ladies who have uh, who want to come into machine learning stuff. There are there, uh, there are courses which will say that machine learning you can learn machine learning here or there. You can just do a scikit-learn library. Believe me, the scikit-learn library won't help you to become a good machine learning expert or a data scientist. Put some effort in learning your uh, basically your statistics. That is the most important thing in building up the machine learning ground. Once you are good with statistics, then I think uh, the machine learning algorithms will be cakewalk for you. So this is one uh, advice for people who want to go into machine learning. Thing. That's wonderful. I mean, it, that's that's going to be really helpful for our um, audience uh, in She Codes. Thank you so much, Isha, for your time, uh, for the great insights that you have shared with us. Uh, it was really a pleasure to have you. And with so much of your experience, um, especially in data science, uh, uh, the women engineers uh, associated with She Codes would definitely like to get in touch with you and uh, take some help, uh, mentorship, as you mentioned. Uh, so we will be connected um, and uh, we will be expecting more and more conversations, you know, uh, with us. Uh, if you want to take a topic, you can you can go ahead and you know, take a session on, on machine learning or data science. We would love to hear from you. So thank you, Isha, for your time. Yeah. And thank you for coming over. Uh, we had a lovely conversation and all the best to you. Thank you so much. Same to you. Same to you. Thank you.